Hi there, my name is Nigel Hay, my channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and welcome. Today is a This Is Niagara video and today we're at this particular location, right by the QEW. This is the outlet collection at Niagara. Basically, it's an outlet mall. It's late at night and the shoppers have all gone. Just a memory from the day before. Walkways are deserted and shops are now empty. It's eerily quiet but oh so peaceful. At night the mall just sleeps. But come the daybreak is the dawn of a new day. A day that's going to bring many, many more shoppers. Not just from Niagara or Ontario but shoppers from all over the world. I'm not a huge fan of shopping, uh, but I just had to come and check this place out. It's actually located in the middle of the Niagara region. So I uh, thought i will come and check it out. And um, of course, Niagara being a huge tourist magnet, and generating millions and millions of tourists every year many of them actually come in here and later on I will reveal how many millions of shoppers actually come to this mall so today I've come here to check it out it's nestled in the middle of the Niagara region uh, in between all the wineries and the falls is just uh, what 10 kilometers away so it's very dog friendly so we're gonna have a little walk around and see what we can see even though I hate shopping anyway come with me let's just go and check out the outlet collection in Niagara Falls <music> Just so you know, there's actually, from what I know of, 109 stores currently at the outlet mall. Did you know that this is Canada's largest outdoor outlet mall? Yes, the largest outlet mall in Canada. All the stores are advertising. 20, 30, 50, 70% off, except for one. Did you notice Lululemon had uh, no sale in the window? Maybe they're too good for a sale. And all these shops that do have 70% off or 50% off or whatever it is, do they really have that percentage off? I've been in some of these shops before and the selection of stuff which is meant to be 50% off or whatever is very, very slim. <laughs> Now, is everything in this mall cheaper than your regular mall? I don't think so. A uh, particular shop behind me, uh, Boathouse, there is another shop very similar to that in the Penn Center. And I bought quite a few things at the other shop in the Penn Center for quite a bit less money than what's on sale there. I remember buying a sweater not so long ago and they had it on sale here for 25% off and the exact same sweater in the Penn Center and that particular sweater was 50% off. I 
I just looked it up and apparently these barrels uh, were specially made to represent each of the wineries in the Niagara region. So every winery you can think of in the Niagara region, their barrel is here. Well, their name is on a barrel anyway. I think that's a pretty neat concept from the, uh, from the people behind this mall. Really, really good. I like that. All right, if you bring in the kids, uh, there is a play area here. It's actually quite a nice day today. It is early March. It's a little warmer than it usually is. Uh, and there's kids playing, so I'm going to be very careful filming this bit because I don't want to get people getting the wrong idea. So very, very quickly, yeah, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy, so I just want to quickly just look over my shoulder. All right, there is an eatery here, and there's also uh, a Tim Hortons behind me if you don't want anything too fancy. Uh, there's also uh, free Wi-Fi in the whole outlet area, so uh, if you're people watching, like some of the guys back there, you know, you just turn your phone on, just relax, and... Uh, you know, just browse and people watch, of course. The mall is always the best place to come people watching. You can never get bored of it. In fact, I think that's why guys come here, is just to people watch, because really, what kind of guy goes shopping? The girls go shopping and the guys just sit here and people watch. In fact, I can see like six guys in front of me just people watching. Well, one guy is pretending to be on his phone. But I tell you what, when you get bored of watching people, you just come over here. This is how close you are to the Bass Pro Shop. Go in there and have some fun. And that's exactly where me and Mumford are going right now because he's really, really starting to annoy me now. You want to go and get a toy? He wants to go shopping himself. So I'm going to take Mumford shopping at Bass Pro Shop. Come, let's go. You want to go shopping? Mumford, let's go. Alright, this is a great place to come in if you're bored at the outlet mall. Come on over here, bring your dog. Uh, buy some stuff. There's plenty of stuff here for dogs, hunting, fishing, there's some food, there's a big fish wall, there's a giant moose and other things up there. Oh, it's a bear. So there's a bit of everything here. And there's a plastic dog. All right, just behind me is an eatery. There's a few places to go and eat inside there. And also in the summertime, just behind me, is where you'll find a few of the uh, takeaway places that show up. There's none of them here right now, except for Beaver Tails, which is always here. Uh, but in the summer, there was a curry place and a few other things. I tried the curry out, really, really good. But boy, did I sweat. Oh my God, I love a curry, but it doesn't react very well with me. Last year's statistics or anything, anything to go by, the mall attracted 4.9 million shoppers last year 4.9 million shoppers uh, came to this mall and uh, some of the surveys demographics of uh, of those uh 65 percent of the shoppers here at the outlet mall are women and the average age of the shopper is 40 years old did you know there's 2796 parking spaces here hey that guy's asleep in his car let's go and talk to him hello hey Hey, wake up. Why are you wearing why are you wearing lipstick? Alright, me and Mumford are now just gonna chill out here for a few minutes. Sit by the fireplace and relax. What? <laughs> I think Mumford's gonna find his own way home at this rate, because I'm sitting by the fire and relaxing. <laughs> 